action. <laughs> uh, okay, so, Church of Black Coffee. Uh, we are talking about metaphysics today. And uh, metaphysics is the study of what is. And specifically, we're going to look at the question of what you are, or what I am. And uh, we're going to do that via a scenario called the teleport. So, big news, they just invented a machine that will instantly teleport you anywhere in the world. So here you are in Seattle. And you are going to walk into this teleporter. At almost the exact same moment, as if walking through a doorway, you will walk out of a teleporter in London. It's Big Ben. Or I think the tower's called something else. Church of England. I don't know, whatever the hell. You're in England, okay? This is London. So, here's the way that it works. When you walk into the teleporter in Seattle, it deconstructs you entirely at the atomic level in order to analyze your structure, your blueprint, your atomic blueprint. So you are taken apart atom by atom in order to learn exactly the position of every atom in your body. That information is sent at the speed of light to the teleporter in London where you are reconstructed based on that blueprint. So the blueprint that is created by destroying you in Seattle is used to rebuild you in London with an entirely new set of material, but everything's in the same place. So if you're not aware, everything is made out of atoms. Atoms take on uh, different... Uh, they gather together in different shapes and they form molecules and those molecules form other stuff and blah 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 blah. But atoms are atoms are atoms are atoms. Um, so when you get onto this side, you are reconstructed exactly in the same fashion uh, as your body was, uh, consisted of in Seattle. So, here's the conundrum. If the process was interrupted, if you were to walk into the teleporter in Seattle and you were to be deconstructed at the atomic level in order to read your atomic blueprint, uh, but you were not rebuilt in London, then that would be death. If you are taken apart atom by atom, then you die. If you are taken apart limb by limb, you die. You really don't need to be taken apart that much in order to die. It's definitely going to do the job. So it will kill you. But here's the problem. That's what happens. They take you apart, atom by atom. So if you are rebuilt in London out of different material, even if it's the same kind of material and in the exact same shape, is it not the case that this person in London is an entirely new person? Do you not die as you walk into the teleporter in Seattle? And is a new person who looks just like you, has your memories, acts just like you, uh, is that not a new person walking out of the teleporter in London? It seems like there's a strong argument there. But if you follow that track, then really what you're saying is, the person in London is made of new material uh, or let's say different material it's made of different material than the person in Seattle You're going to have to listen to me because my handwriting is bad because I don't give a fuck, okay? So just pay attention to what's happening. The person in London is made of different material than the person in Seattle. If one, then the person in London is a different... Oh wait, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a premise. We'll have to fix this in post-op. Wait, wait, what do they call that when it's film, not medicine? Just post. Post. We'll fix it in post. Uh, the same person. <laughs> cannot be made of new material. Oh, 
It has a shitty premise, but I mean, you understand, like, you can't just, like, build a new guy and then say that's me, right? Because that's a whole different, like, set of stuff that's, that's a new guy. Therefore, the person in Seattle is different than the person in London. So, again, the person in London is made of different material than the person in Seattle. The same person cannot be made of new material, therefore the person in Seattle is different than the person in London. And, and really, we look at this as saying, like, one second to the next, that's not how it works. This person is destroyed, a new person walks out in London because this person is made of entirely different stuff than this person. Like right now, I'm made of the same stuff. And right now, I'm made of that same stuff. Still made of mostly the same stuff, right? So that's how me being me persists, is because I'm made of the same stuff. So this guy is all of a sudden made of brand new stuff, and all the stuff that this guy was made out of is gone. It's, the atoms have been dispersed to the universe. So as he is being analyzed, all of his atoms are uh, released. They're, you know, they're not connected anymore. That's part of the process. So here is where the conundrum comes in. Hopefully this speaks to you. Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. This guy walks in, everything he is made of is pulled apart, and then new stuff is put together to create a guy who looks just like him in London. So here's me. at 29 okay here's me no more wrinkles a little bag under my eyes at 36 well guess what this guy made of entirely new stuff compared to that guy. There is no atom in me currently that was in my 29 year old self. I have been rebuilt over the course of the 29, over the course of the seven years. What? Sorry, my wife has a problem with this. Please, Jill, share with the group. Don't do that. <laughs> what is it? I just thought maybe some, um, maybe there would be some atoms that would say, like your stem cells. Your stem have, cells? Yeah, you have adult stem cells. And some of their atoms would probably be the same. They just stay with you the whole time? I don't know, actually. Or like seven years, haven't I heard that it's been maybe seven years? Yeah, that's 29 how plus what oh. equals 36. <laughs> Fix that post-op, too. <laughs> okay, so, here's the thing. If it is the case that that person walking out of the uh, teleporter in London is different from the person walking into the teleporter in Seattle because that person in London is made of entirely new material, then it is also the case that I am an entirely different person than this 29 year Don't get me wrong. It feels that way. I certainly feel like I'm a very different person than I was at 29 years old. Uh, and my 29 year old self probably felt very different than his 22 year old self. And do the math all the way back. But it's not really true, right? Like if I murdered somebody at 29, say I pushed a giant guy off a bridge in order to try and save some kids or something, I would still be guilty of that murder at 36 years old. So even though I constituted, I am composed of entirely new material than I was at 29, I, I feel strongly like I am probably the same person as uh, the 29 year old version of me, which means that it seems likely that even though I am destroyed walking into the teleporter in Seattle, that that's still me walking out of the teleporter in London. At least that would be me following the chain of logic. I still feel like I die walking into that teleporter and a new guy walks out in London, but I, I, they, they, haven't, they haven't made one yet, so I don't know. <laughs>